With his poles and tackle box, Mark Forrest is off to do what he loves best. But Mark thought he had reeled in his last fish six years ago. He was slurring, he couldn't move his hand, and uh, so I, I just told him, I said, you're having a stroke. By the time I got to the hospital, my whole right side was dead. During the next six months, Mark gained a little movement back, but not much. I was getting really depressed. I was like, I gotta figure out something. That something was this, the first FDA cleared brain computer interface for chronic stroke survivors. This is the robotic exoskeleton portion of the Ipsy hand. Neurosurgeon Eric Luthard created the exoskeleton that uses electrical signals in the brain to control hand movement. Their brain essentially relearns how to use a different part of the brain to affect control of that, uh, 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 that paralyzed hand. A non-invasive headset picks up the brain signals through the scalp, sending the signals wirelessly to the robotic arm. A tablet walks the patient through exercises. Using the device for an hour a day, Mark okay. went from this to this. It's used to really retrain to your brain to rewire your brain so you don't need this system in the long run. Patients who had their stroke six months ago or even 10 years ago have seen improvement. As for Mark, he's now able to fish again and even built his own boat. Just being out there is what I truly love and I'm thankful I can do it. I'm Marty Salt reporting.